Hi guys, this is a tear-based version of salutations. Now you're going to need a short back chair with no arms on the side. Don't have a tall chair because then you won't be able to fold over when you need to. So we're going to do a short warm-up, sitting down. Don't lean back against the chair, be a little bit forward so that you have to hold yourself upright rather than lean back to hold your spine erect. Now let's take a few shoulder rolls, rolling back and around to start. Just resting your arms wherever is comfortable for you. You can also hang your arms by your sides if you prefer. And then change and circle the shoulders forward. Keep the spine completely straight, lifting chest up high. And then change and circle around in the opposite direction again. Now keeping shoulders back away from your chest, we're going to come into a couple of twists. So turn your feet to the right side of your chair. Feet are as wide as the hips. Heels under the knees, knees over the heels. Feet parallel to each other. Lift your back up straight and tall and turn to the left. Holding onto the back of the chair with the left hand, right hand over the left thigh. Now don't let those knees move. Keep the knees aligned. And you don't have to turn your head to the direction your chest is twisting. You can keep your face pointing forward. Notice your breath. Don't hold the breath. Each time you breathe in, lift your chest. Lift up through the back of your neck and the back of your head, as well as the top of your head as well. Keep taking your shoulders back towards your back, rather than let them move towards your chest. Now we're going to untwist. Turning your chest in the direction of your toes and then turn your feet forwards and around to the left. Once more, start with the base, heels and the knees, feet parallel, knees in line with your hips, spine up completely straight, turn your chest to the right, hooking right fingers into the edge of the chair behind you, left hand over the right leg. Don't let the knees and thighs come together. And if it's comfortable, your head turns to the side or even back a little bit looking over the back shoulder or you're looking forwards in the direction your knees are pointing. Now again, notice your breathing. And each time you breathe in, lift up with your spine. Lift your back ribs up away from your lower back. Relax into your jaw. Don't clench the teeth. Now release your hands, turn your chest forwards towards your toes, and then we turn feet forwards again to where we started. Again, feet are parallel. And now we're going to move with the breath and warm a little bit more into the shoulders. So bringing your hands together in front of you. On an inhale, the arms go up. On an exhale, the arms go down. And you don't have to have the hands touching. You can have them part. Inhale to lift the arms up. As you exhale, arms come down. And you only lift the arms so much as it is comfortable on your neck and your shoulders. Don't let your shoulders crunch up into your neck as the arms lift. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. We just do this a few times. And then we're going to add on uh, with an extra movement in the shoulder and the arm. Keep stretching up through the top of your head. Keep lifting the chest. We're going to lift and lower one more time. And now we're going to 
change this a little bit. So on an inhale, the arms go up. On an exhale, hands come to chest height. On an inhale, arms open, bend the elbows, pull the shoulders and hands back. Bringing hands together again or arms forward and then releasing arms down. So you can do this with hands together or hands interlaced or hands apart. Okay, so here we go. Inhale to lift the arms. On an exhale, bring them down to chest height. As you breathe in, arms open, elbows bend, pull the shoulders back. As you exhale, arms come forward. And then releasing the arms down, shoulders to spine. On an in-breath, arms lift. On an exhale, bring them to chest height. On an in-breath, open, elbows bend. On an exhale, bringing arms forward. And then releasing the arms down as you breathe in. You pause a moment. And on your next in-breath, arms go up. As you exhale, hands come to chest height. On an inhale, open the arms, bend the elbows, pull upper arms all the way back. And then hands forwards, arms straight, releasing the arms down. Okay, pause. On an in-breath, lift the arms. On an exhale, bring them back to chest height. As you breathe in, open, bend the elbows, palms face forward, and bringing arms together again. And release the arms down. We're going to do two more. On your inhale, you lift. On the exhale, arms to chest height. On an in-breath, arms open, bend the elbows, double your shape in the arms, and then bringing arms together with a breath. As you breathe in, arms go down, shoulders go back, and then next in breath, arms lift. As you exhale, arms to shoulder or chest height. On an inhale, open, bend the elbows, palms forward. And then bringing arms together. And we're releasing them down, shoulders to your back. So take a couple of rolls there. And then roll in the other direction. And again, change directions. And change again. One more time. Change and roll the opposite way. And then forward. One last time. Roll the shoulders back and around. Now keep your shoulders back away from your chest. And now we're going to come up to standing. So you're going to take your chair and turn the seat away from you. Hands on the back of the chair. And now we're going to be adding on some lunges to the arm action that we did while we were seated. Okay. So you're standing quite close to the chair to start. Hands on the chair back so that you can be the right distance away from the back of the chair. Don't be too far back. Okay, because we're going to be folding over. So here we go with the arms. So breathe in and lift your arms up. As you breathe out, arms come to chest height. As you breathe in, bend the elbows, palms forward, double your shape in the arms, and then bringing your arms forwards again. We're bringing hands down onto the chair. From here, we're stepping the right leg back. Turn the right heel in and down and stretch the right leg straight. Left knee bent. Keep lifting the chest up high and pushing down deep into that back heel. And now stepping your right foot forward and straight to the other side. Left leg steps back. Turn the left heel in and down. And you step to the distance that you feel is right for you. Stretch this left leg straight. Push back and down into your left heel. Again, chest up nice and high. Make sure that you're breathing. And now we're going to step the left foot forward. Check that your feet are parallel and as wide as your hips. And from here, we're folding down over the chair. So hands onto the seat. 
If you want to, you can lean onto the chair back if that's comfortable for you and hang your head. Now, knees can be bent here. Make sure your knees don't lean in towards each other. You can let the head hang if that's comfortable on your neck. Otherwise, keep that length of the neck. Okay, you don't have to bend the elbows. You don't have to bend the legs. And this is a stretch out for spine and lower back as well as backs of legs. Okay, now we're coming up. And we're going to repeat that. That's your whole salutation. We're going to repeat that several times. So hands on the back of the chair. On an in-breath, arms go up. On an exhale, bring arms to chest height. Inhale to open the arms. Bend the elbows. Double your arms. And then bringing arms forwards again. Releasing hands to the chair back. Step the right leg back. Turn the right heel in and down. Push back into your heel. Try to get the right knee straight. Notice your breathing. Keep the breath flowing. Now we're stepping right foot forward. Check the feet are aligned. And take the left leg back. Turn the left heel in and down. Make sure your left heel is on the floor. Lift your heart. Don't let the shoulders push forward. Try to draw the armpits and shoulders back away from your chest. Step your left foot forward. Feet are aligned and parallel to each other. Heels on the hips, folding down over the back of the chair, either resting on hands or going a little bit deeper, bending elbows, bend the knees if you need to. If your knees are bent, push back with your bum. You can be here with knees bent and arms straight. Or legs straight, but try to keep the back flat. Coming all the way up. Spine tall and straight. On an inhale, arms go up. On an exhale, bringing arms to shoulder or chest height. Bending the elbows. Inhale to lift into your W shape. Squeeze the shoulders back. On an exhale, bring arms forward, releasing hands to the chair. Step your right leg back, turn the heel in and down. And then stepping right foot forward, taking left leg back. Turn the left heel in and down, stretch the left knee straight. So we're going a little bit faster this time. When you step your left foot forward, check that the feet are aligned and fold down, hands onto the chair seat. Flatten into your back, bend the knees if you need to, but don't let bending the knees round your back. And then lifting all the way up. Again, on an inhale, arms go forwards and up. On an exhale, arms come to chest high. On an in-breath, arms open, W shape, palms forward, squeeze the shoulders back, and then bring your arms forward again, hands onto the chair. Stepping right leg back, turn the right heel in and down. Stepping right foot forward, align the feet as you step up, and then take the left leg back, turning left heel in and down. Right knee bends, left knee is straight, lifting the chest. So these salutations are really good for joint mobility, as well as for flexibility, and also working a bit of strength here. 
stepping left foot forwards. Feet are parallel. Heels under hips. Fall down. Stretch the hips back. Flatten your back as much as you can. Coming all the way up. We'll do one more. Inhale, take the arms forward. On your exhale, arms to chest height. On an in-breath, double your arms, palms forward, elbows bend, squeeze the shoulders. And then bringing your arms forward again and taking hands to the chest. And we're taking right leg back. Now this time we're going to keep that back heel up. Okay, try to have the front heel under the front knee. Left heel under left knee. Lift the chest up high. A little bit of a different stretch in the front of the hip here. And also into the sole of the foot. So this is really good for the fascia in the sole of the foot and the toes. Now stepping the right foot forward, check the alignment of your feet as you step up and take the left leg back. So you're on your left toes, we're in a lunge, left heel is off the ground. Try to get your front heel under your right knee. Lift the chest, don't let the shoulders hunch forward, keep the shoulders pressing back. Notice the breath. Keep lifting up tall through the top of your head. And then stepping forwards. Okay, now this time you're going to take your feet out wider than your hips. Keep the feet parallel so the toes still turn forward, but my legs are now out in a V shape. And then either taking elbows onto the chair back and bending the knees, placing the knees open, or folding down again, hands onto the chair back. Once more, knees can be bent or knees straight. Or you can play with bending and straightening. As the knees bend, the knees push out away from each other. Try not to let the toes turn out. Keep your toes pointing straight forwards in the direction of your head. So either keep bending and straightening or staying with bent knees or straight knees. You can also take your arms a little bit further forwards. That will start to stretch into the chest. It's fine if you're really leaning your chest into the back of the chair, if that's comfortable for you. And now walking the hands up if you're down that far. And bringing the feet in. Now we're going to close with one last twist. So turning your chair sideways, standing on the side of the chair. We step one foot up onto the chair. Get your heel under your knee and point your toes straight forwards. Left hand over that right leg. Right arm back behind you. So you can hang the arm down or you can wrap your arm behind your back. Now, this is a stabilizing, balancing pose for the pelvic floor muscles. You don't have to turn your head to the side. You can look forward. Keep twisting your chest towards the right. Make sure the right shoulder is moving back away from your chest. If it's comfortable, you turn your head to the side. If your body is moving around, that's because this is a balancing pose. That's okay. OK, 
carefully and twisting yourself forward. Take the right foot down. Make sure the toes point straight forward. Left foot comes up. Get your heel under your left knee. Toes point straight forward. Right hand over the left leg. Left arm wraps back behind you or hang that left arm to the side and down. Chest turning to the side. Maybe your face turns forward. Keep the shoulders going back away from the chest. Don't let this bent knee lean in or out. Keep it straight up over the heel. If it's comfortable on the neck, head turns to the side as well. Okay, this is really good release for the lower back and over the glutes. Carefully untwisting yourself and stepping left foot down to the ground. So we're going to come to one last forward fold here. So feet as wide as hips, heels and the knees, toes point straight forward. And from here we're going to forward bend. So you can do this with um, a bolster or a cushion here. If you've got quite a firm cushion or bolster, don't do this on a soft cushion. Okay? Um, if you can't reach the thighs, really lean forwards and just hang your arms down and hang your head. Don't squeeze your chin in too tightly to your throat. Just giving a really good stretch into your back after those two twists. And then rolling yourself all the way up. Namaste.